Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is draw a little picture here that represents a smiley face. So I'm going to draw a bunch of Z's in a Microsoft Word document and go through and change some of those Z's to Y's for yellow and B for blue and change the colors so I can actually see the face on the screen. I also put BR's at the end of the line so that way I can have my carriage returns. Then I'm going to do a find and replace, and I'm going to replace all the instances of the Z to start with. I'm going to change them to X's, and I'm going to change them with a span so that I can get the class to be the 3. So then all my spans show up, and all my Z's change to X's, and they now have the class of Z. Now I'm going to also do the same thing with the Y's and change all of the Y's to a class of 1 and do that. Next I'm going to end up changing the uh, B's. They are all a class of two. So then you have that changed. Once you have all of your classes set up, you can then um, copy and paste all of that code into a Microsoft into excuse me into a notebook file. So we'll highlight everything. You could just use select all and get it really quickly and go up to my cut tool or my copy tool, one or the other. And I'm going to go into my notebook file and I've already set up my spans with their classes. So span with the 1 will be yellow, span with the 2 will be blue, and span with the 3 will be black. So that way I, I can get my background black to make the Z's that were black disappear and kind of get a effect where it's a GIF rather than just being a box. So I'm going to paste the code from the Word document into the body. And then I should be ready to go after I save it. So if I go up to the browser and I refresh the page, and look, the code's not there. There's no happy face. So what could have possibly gone wrong? Well, here's the issue. In Microsoft Word, they use smart quotes. So the quote, single quote that I use in Microsoft Word is not the single quote that I need. So I have to go into my notepad document and find all of the left quotes and replace it with a single quote. And then I need to find all the right quotes and replace them with a single quote. So that way I end up with uh, the proper quotes in my document. Anytime you switch from Microsoft Word to Notepad, you're going to have to do that. So just do a replace all and save my document. Oh, get my other one. So that's my right hand one. So now I'm going to save my document so the updates take effect. Go to my page, refresh it, and there it is, my happy face. Now if you highlight the letters in the background, you can actually see that the X's are still there. The X's became the Z's when I replaced them.